All right, so it is another day. I am at McKay's. Oh, there's a sign about McKay's. I'm gonna go take a look and see what I can find today. I am searching for the Brill and the Dragonators, Segra and the Stargull, this series of Exitorn Adventures books that I've been talking about lately, that I just found like the first two, or well, book four and six of at the last store that I was at in Foley, Alabama. So we'll see what I can find here at McKay's today. Let's go take a look. Okay, so that was a really good day at McKay's. I found a ton of Goosebumps series, two, series 2000 books. I also found a couple R.L. Stein books I've never even heard of before. I found the Goosebumps triple header book from R.L. Stein, and let's see, what was the other thing? I found a bunch of Fright Times, a bunch of Ghosts of Fear Street. I feel like I hit a jackpot today. I was very excited about it. So once I get to where I can sit down, I will show you everything that I found. Okay, I am back home now and I'm gonna go through all the books that I found because I found some super fun stuff today when I was at McKay's and I actually stopped also at a half price bookstore because it was close to McKay's so I thought well I'll just go over to half price books too. Didn't get any footage inside half price books, it was a little busy, but I did find some fun stuff. So let me show you everything I found. So now I have found three more Ghosts of Fear Street books I didn't have yet. So I got book number two in the Ghosts of Fear Street series, Who's Been Sleeping in My Grave? <laughs> Which this one just looks amazing. I'm so excited to read this one. I've really loved all the Ghosts of Fear Street books I've read so far. So here's another one we'll have to read. And then the next Ghosts of Fear Street book I got was number 12. And this is Night of the Cat. <laughs> I'm super excited to read this one too. It looks so funny. It just looks like super interesting. So Night of the Werecat, we'll have to see what happens in this one. And then I also got number 14, Body Switchers from Outer Space. I was super excited to find this one. I kind of like alien stuff. I think it's sort of fun. So here's another one. And then <laughs> I've kind of been waiting to buy more of Jonathan Rand's American Chillers books because I see them all the time everywhere. And I don't know what I think about them really, but I did see the Tennessee one. And since I do live in Tennessee, I thought, you know, I might as well pick up the Tennessee one. So now I do have, this is the number 21, the terrifying toys of Tennessee. So I will have to read this one and see how it is. It looks ridiculous, but that's American chillers for you. And then I was super excited to find this one. This one I got at Half Price Books. And this one, I read book number two just recently of Bruce Koval's Camp Haunted Hill series, which was, that one was called Some of My Best Friends Are Monsters. And I found book number three. This one is The Dinosaur That Followed Me Home, book number three in the Camp Haunted Hill series. So I'm excited to read this one and see what happens next in this series. I haven't read book one yet, but I've been looking for that one, trying to find it, but I haven't found it yet. I looked today for it, but I didn't see it. So, but I found book three. And then this was interesting. This is my first point horror book that I now own. And it is R.L. Stein's The Babysitter. And it is in plastic shrink wrap still. So I'll have to open this up at some point to read it. But I got The Babysitter, a point horror book. You can see the little point up there in the corner. This is my R.L. Stein book from Point Horror. And then I was very curious about this book. I don't know if this is like a reprint of an older version of this book, but I found this, it's R.L. Stein's Creatures from Beyond Beyond. And what's so interesting is this is put out by Amazon Publishing. And it looks like it came out around like 2010 or so. And I was super, super curious about this. So I've never heard of this, I didn't know like I said, if it's a reprint of something else from a long time ago or what it is, but here it is. And then I was super excited because I found three Goosebumps Series 2000 books. I've been looking for more of these. They are, seem like they're kind of harder to find than the regular Goosebumps series. Obviously, there's a lot of those. And also some of the newer Goosebumps series that are out. But I did find three of them today. So I found Goosebumps Series 2000, book number seven, Revenge R Us. And this one, this is the best. It still has a Kmart sticker on the back. 
from when it was sold at Kmart. I kind of love it. I'm not going to take it off, I don't think, because I think it's so great to have the Kmart sticker. It's kind of like a video game that has a Blockbuster rental sticker still on it. You just got to leave it. And then I also found book number five, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, part two. And lo and behold, this one also has a Kmart sticker that I'm not going to take off. I just love it. I think it's so great. These are actually in pretty good shape. Like there's no like really creased edges and it's pretty like a pretty good binding and everything on it. So I was excited about that. And then this one doesn't have a Kmart sticker, but that's okay. This is book number 16, The Mummy Walks, which if you know me, you've watched this channel. I love Egypt stuff. I love the mummy stuff. So I'm excited to read this one. And then this is a regular series Goosebumps book that I did not have yet, but now I do. It's number 28, The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. So I was super excited to find this one because I didn't have this one yet. And I've actually been wanting to read this one. I don't really remember much about it. So I want to go through this one and read it. And then this was an interesting one. I actually had forgotten these were a thing. So I found this triple header book number one and it has that cool holographic cover on it let's see if i can get it to you can kind of see it there they're hard to get it going oh there's a good image of it i guess but so this one it has three stories in one and i didn't really know much about these so i was excited to find this one it was a pretty cool find and then i found two in the goosebumps hall of horror series which i don't have any of these yet so i found number one called claws after Cry the Cat, you know I gotta read this cat one because the cat ones are real intense when it comes to goosebumps in my opinion. So this one looks like a lot of fun to read. I'm excited to see what happens. And then I also found book number two, Night of, Giant, of the Giant Everything. So this one looks like a lot of fun, a little creepy. It's got a spider on it and me and my spider books, I guess. <laughs> Yikes. So we'll have to see what happens in this one. And then I found five Fright Time books, which these, I had only found one in the wild so far. And so finding five of them, and they were all marked 25 cents. So of course, I gotta pick that up. For 25 cents each, you can't go wrong. So I got this one. This is the first one out of all the series. And this one has Madman on Main Street, Scary Harry, and It's Almost Dark. These all have three stories in one book. And then this one is number three in the series. And this one, I love this cover. I think it's a lot of fun. This one has Terror Town, Medal of Honor, and Kid Willie's Ghost. So that looks like a lot of fun. And then this one is number six. This has Night Creatures, Who Am I, and Cemetery School. So that looks like a fun cover. And then this is number 10. It has Creatures from the Ice and Dead End Drive-In and Strange Exchange. I thought that ice with the skull coming out of the ice was kind of an awesome picture on the front there. And then this is number 11. This is, this one has Hotel Horror, It's Really Me, and Creep County. So these look like a lot of fun. I can't wait to read some of these. I think they're gonna be a fun read. And then I found another Young Indiana Jones book. This is book number two. Indiana Jones, Young Indiana Jones and the Tomb of Terror. I love Indiana Jones. It's one of my favorite IPs. And so I'm super excited to read this one. This one came out in the 1990s, in 1990 actually. So I'm excited to read Young Indiana Jones and the Tomb of Terror. And then I found three more Bernstein Bear big chapter books, <laughs> which these are just so wild. But so I found The Berenstein Bears and The Perfect Crime Almost. I thought this one looks like a lot of fun. So this one's one of the ones I did not have as a kid. So I'm excited to read this one. I've never read it. And then this one I do remember from when I was a kid. This is The Bernstein Bears and The Nerdy Nephew, which I'm super excited to reread this one and kind of remember what it was about because I know I've read it a long time ago. And then this is another one I don't think I had when I was a kid. This is The Berenstein Bears and the Phenom in the Family. So I'm excited to see what this one's all about. It looks kind of interesting. It looks like maybe there's some swimming and maybe Sister Bear is really good at swimming. So we'll see what happens. So those are all the books I found today at McKay's and Half Price Books. It was a lot of fun. This was a fun day. I found so many fun things. It was great because I just had the morning off. So I was able to kind of go walk around, look at the store, just kind of see what there all was and pick up some fun finds that I am super excited to dive into. I have so many fun books to read. I can't wait. So I'm going to get to reading. And until next time, everybody, keep reading. Bye.